This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm alone once again, and I've got a review of The Entertainer, a short film by Matt Starr released late in 2020. It follows an unnamed woman, the titular entertainer, as she spends time, well, entertaining clients. The method of entertainment is through voice impressions and hiding behind cardboard standees, which becomes disrupted when she's robbed during her lunch break. With one more appointment later that day, she needs to learn how to improvise. There's definitely a story arc in The Entertainer, but it feels less than complete. That is, there's a clear beginning, middle, and end to the film's narrative, but it's very bare bones and stripped of any meat. The bulk of the film is in the unnamed entertainer's performances, with little development to her character outside of her work or the nature of her work in general. Her character arc is, in essence, the story of the film, though there's so little being given that it doesn't really work as a character study either. If anything, I feel like they wanted to focus more on the surreal, somewhat absurdist nature of her work, rather than create a universe where that kind of work is necessary or welcomed. On a technical level, the entertainer is also rough. The camera work is handheld and unstabilized, creating an extremely bumpy and shaky image. It works to some degree in outdoor scenes, but it's also used in indoor scenes, and overall it becomes more of a distraction than a point of view. Being shot on location, the colors of the film are natural, but kind of muted, with little to no color correction to try and bring out any other saturation or contrast. The overall editing of the film is still pretty fluid, and manages to keep a smooth and even pacing between and during scenes. Overall, The Entertainer isn't a bad short film, but it's not flawless. It's certainly an interesting universe, but it's underdeveloped. The unnamed woman's story arc is developed well, but it's not given much weight. There's a surreal element to the film setting, but again, it's not brought out to its fullest potential. In the end, I think that the fly-on-the-wall approach to the film's characters is its greatest flaw peeking into the life of an entertainer, rather than exploring it fully. The Entertainer Matt Starr, 2020 Two and a half stars. I don't really recommend it, but mostly because it's kind of forgettable. I mean, I won't stop you from watching it. That's the end of the review. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more reviews. I got nothing else.